Mythic 1. Alright, we are not messing about. We finally just hit Mythic today in Brawl Stars ranked and what an achievement that does feel. So never did I think that I'd actually go into Mythic. The game that would actually push me into that league would be with Edgar and on Brawl Ball. So if any of you know anything about me, I do not do very well in Brawl Ball like ever. And there's a lot for me to learn in that mode. And I actually don't play that much 3v3. So I typically play solo showdown. And I sometimes play with a couple of mates on various different modes. But predominantly, most of my time is in either solo showdown or sometimes duo showdown. And I have tons to learn on the 3v3. So if I can make it to Mythic and you are on your journey, you can definitely make it too. Trust me on that. So how have I managed to get to Mythic? Well, surprisingly, I actually played with a friend and I found that when I was teaming up with a friend, I was getting more teams. Now I can't confirm that 100%, but I'm pretty sure from looking at the profiles and how they were playing together, I've got a strong idea that they were in fact teaming. So. If you're in a team, you're more likely to get a team. At least that's how it seems. I don't know that for definite. Could be just shooting a dart in the wind. But that is that is genuinely what I think. When I played solo, I found that even though that sometimes you can get some people picking rough uh, brawlers or choices, you are essentially 33.3% of the team, right? And so you have control over who you're picking and what you're doing. So some tips from me in how to try and get into mythic if you haven't got there or are you on that journey and again you know appreciate that this isn't like masters and we've still got a long way to go but i still think mythic is an achievement and i just want to try and help you guys so my first few tips would be when you're playing in ranked make sure that you are checking the modifiers it's really important to make sure you know what modifier is against the map you can also click on the map in the top left as well, and that will show you what map it is that you're about to go into so that you can try and make an educated choice of what brawler it is that you want to play. Also, once you've made a ban for a brawler, then make sure that you are pre-picking who you intend to play as so that everybody else in the team knows who it is that you're going to pick. It's really important that you're giving your other teammates an opportunity. Now, sometimes people will just click really quickly once you get into platinum there's just no reason to do that because you're all taking turns at the choice that you're about to make so if you are the first choice make sure you don't double click on the brawler that you are kind of letting your other teammates know and they might select different brawlers now obviously if you are the first pick then they have the best choice to make but you could be like flicking between two different brawlers within the countdown and you're kind of letting them know that they're the two brawlers that you intend on being and they might make a recommendation off the back but you don't obviously have to take that on um it goes about saying as you start going higher so as i was getting into like um diamond two diamond three i noticed that i would be needing to pick kind of my higher level brawlers that are fully equipped and typically you kind of want a tank you know a close range and a long range and um, goes without saying but you kind of want to make sure that you've got enough brawlers in the sort of rank 11 fully upgraded with gadgets star powers and gears so that it gives you basically the best chance of success is essentially what you're doing anything less than that you're just making it a little bit difficult and of course if you do have a brawler that you've got to level 11 you've got everything but you haven't quite got the hypercharge again that is going to make a massive difference in free beat free because especially for game modes where you're doing like gem grab or you're doing like you know taking the safe out heist or you're doing something else you know the, where the match goes on for quite a while you're more than likely to get a hypercharge right and if you don't have a hypercharge on your brawler then you are essentially just mission missing out mission missing out on a very powerful moment that could sway the match if you know if you're about to win or you're about to lose so just bear that in mind and um, i think that those are obviously the main tips i think another thing as well is try to be a little bit more conservative in sense of that obviously if you're not 100 percent sure whether you're going to win the trade if you go in or whatnot it's better to stay alive than it is to just keep running in and dying over and over and over again right so you know for example if you've got a brawler that you're playing and you know that you really need to be a little bit more defensive then definitely try and be more defensive so for brawl ball for example 
you know, if I keep running in and going to die, I'm relying on my teammates to not die. Otherwise, the enemy team are going to push through and probably score a goal. Uh, whereas if I'm a brawler that's like a thrower, for example, like Larry and Laurie, then, you know, I need to make sure that I'm far enough back so that I don't get taken out, but I can still keep dishing out damage. So it's just like little things like that. You know, don't keep rushing in. Obviously, if you do keep dying, it can make a massive difference. Same with like knockout. If you go straight in and you just immediately die, then it's a 2v3 and you're very, very unlikely that you are going to win. Now, obviously, if your teammates do that and they go in and die, then that is unfortunate. But it's important that you don't do that and then they just follow straight up. So then you're very likely to lose, especially if you don't take out any of the other enemy brawlers. And also as well, look at the way that your other teammates are playing. You don't have a lot of time to kind of figure out what their play style is, the way that they're sort of playing. So you do need to kind of you know adapt really quickly and look at what they're doing so that you can then kind of make sure that you are playing to the best of your baller strength and the best of their baller strengths and in terms of what I, what ballers i think that have helped me get to this point moment in terms of hitting mythic i think it goes without saying that you know larry and laurie has been a huge success up until platinum it i did mention in my last video that um we did get a comment uh, fr fr from a few people basically saying yeah, but once Band comes into play, you probably won't get to play Larry and Laurie that much. And that is true. Larry and Laurie are banned an incredible amount. So is like Piper. So is Mike. So is Edgar. You know, those ballers are banned and they're banned for good reason because they're really good. So it doesn't mean that they're always going to get banned. But typically, I am seeing those ballers getting banned the most. Um, but for instance like there are some brawlers that do have a massive impact in most game modes that just don't seem to be getting banned like spike doesn't really get banned that often and he's quite impactful bow in the right situation can be quite impactful and he doesn't get banned you know very often if at all um you've got bell as well she doesn't get banned that often and she's really good on those long range maps so you know try and get different ballers that you can up to as high a level as possible that you that you can and try and focus on those so i think with rank specifically this is where you need to kind of focus your gold and your power points and all of your upgrades into just a couple of brawlers whereas probably before ranked if you were like me you spread yourself really thin and you had like you know a level seven here level you know eight here well, i think we've always been sort of engineered or at least i remember being engineered back in the day to make sure that my brawlers were all at least level eight etc so that when you picked up the power boxes which i think they were called that um you had a chance of getting their gadgets and stuff I, i'm not sure whether you can still get gadgets and that for brawlers that you don't have at those levels so let me know in the comment section below if that is if it is or isn't the case because i'm not 100 sure i know you can get hypercharges for brawlers that you don't actually have at level 11 but i don't know if that's the same for star powers and gadget so do let me know but regardless i think if you're going to make this shift where you really want to focus on ranked um then you need to obviously have a couple of brawlers that you've got at absolute max level so there's no excuse for how well you do in that game so yeah with that in mind obviously super super buzzing uh, that we got to mythic let me know how you're getting on in the comment section below i'd be i'd love to hear how you guys are doing the next step is trying to get through mythic and then into legendary so once i hit that milestone i will let you know we've only got 22 days left of the season it doesn't it sounds like a long time but you know essentially just over three weeks that time's going to go rapid if you like me dad work children all that good stuff then you're trying to fit it in as much as you can and i'm still trying to climb trophies overall i'm at 31,000 um overall trophies which is you know quite low so i've still got loads to do myself but i am really really enjoying ranked and as i say it is a change of pace for me because typically i play solo showdown but that's it guys i just wanted to give you a few tips a few tricks um a bit of advice on how i got here and uh yeah just sort of you know let you know the process and um yeah, if you enjoyed this video, then definitely comment below, like, subscribe, all that good jazz. Um, I'll be looking forward to making the next video. And as I say, and seeing what you guys think. Um, that's it for this one. Peace.